Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wookie, and I'm back with another fake Grand Order video! Uh, I'm here because I'm finally done with summoning for some- well, except for Murasaki, but I'm saving that for a specific solo day. But basically, I'm done with summer, so that means that I can finally relax, breathe. The time that I've been saving the entire time is kind of over. over. I kind of want to see how the rest of the year is going to look out and kind of plan ahead and stuff like that. Currently I have 60 quartz, chances are 30 of that is going to go to Murasaki, and if I don't pull Murasaki, there's about a 50-50 chance I uh, do the dumb thing and summon again, so chances are I'm back at zero. So starting from zero, I kind of want to see what the rest of the planned events are for the rest of the year and see how much quartz in theory, or even stuff I want to summon on, so that's going to be today's video. Hope you like it. If you do, you can leave a like. It helps out the channel a whole bunch. You can comment down below. Tell me how you're planning to do your stuff for the remainder of the year. And subscribe to me if you want more stuff. So yeah. So obviously the big event. Let's go over here to the JP list. It's, you know, end of the year. This is the big man. No, no, no not there. This is the big thing right here. New Year's campaign. This is for sure the next big, 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 big unit. It's, it's Muramasa. Everyone knows that. He's coming at the end of the year. It's kind of crazy, and then from there, it's a little bit tougher. Because <laughs> the, the next year is an entire other bag of worms that I have to look into a little bit later on. A problem for uh, later down the road, Wookie, for right now. But yeah, at the end of the year, this is a pretty big unit for most people. He's hands down one of the best AoE Saber units in the world. So, and he continues to be because he's obviously Shiro. They're not going to make Shiro bad. Even Emiya, who is a four star, is fucking nuts, crazy, broken, and it has been since the beginning of the game. So, yeah. But yeah, he's at the end of the year. I don't really care that much about uh, Shiro, and I already have plenty of AoE art saber unit so I don't really care so thankfully for me I don't have to worry about that too much let's see for the remainder of this month specifically we have the ukiyo rerun which thankfully for me I have already comma so this event really doesn't matter to me I don't think even on the banner too I think this is where Shirazade is in a second one no I'm thinking no it's Kiara I could have swore there's a Shira, there was a Shirazade but maybe it's not in the rerun but anyway let's go into uh, funny enough, our timelines are sort of screwed up. Next, 21 million downloads campaign. Let's see, I believe all it is is the Mothman Prophecies, Shi Huang Di, Concert Yu is also on here, and Lu Xiu Wing, and Wu Zetan. Thankfully, I have two of the ones that I actually would care about the most, which is Li Xiu Wen and Little Wu. I already have plenty of rulers, I don't need another ruler. Concert Yu, I think this unit is still bad, <laughs> from what I remember. <laughs> They kind of did her very dirty with this unit, and she's not the greatest, even with, I think, this buff here. It's very hard to make a good assassin, and then they decided to make her an assassin AoE unit, so... Not, yeah, not, yeah, there's a lot of, hmm. For how powerful she's supposed to be, they really didn't do much justice on that one. But anyway, next, Interlude Campaign 14. This is a summon campaign that has, um, has shooting on it, and it also has... Uh, Atlanta altar on it. Ooh, and then the story locked red hair. Funny enough, I would like more copies of red hair. Um, but I already have shooting and I already have Atlanta, and I already have plenty of copies of Ephesabon. At least a bron that I could ever use, so this is a pretty easy skip banner for me. Though I'll gladly take those interludes. The dance tournament in the land of shadows. This is the Ska Fest. Or aka Gilfest, aka Nero Fest. Don't call it by what most people want you to call it for us. Just call it Ska Fest, and you'll be perfectly fine. Or Ska Hawk Fest, whichever one. That's how you actually say your name. Anyway, the summoning campaign for here is obviously Ska Hawk, and then the Armud Raduabine, and Finnick Mac. Kumhal? If you actually know how to say the last name of Fion Finn over here. I'll gladly say it. Someone taught me how to do Ask a Hawk, but I don't think I ever asked for Deer Muden, Theon, and Mac Um, I already have Skahawk at NP2, so really this is just a <laughs> nice costume for me. And man, some of these CEs, I don't think there's any that are specifically. True Crimson Spear Trainer. Unfortunately, that's quick based right now, and I'm not really looking to improve quick. There's not many quick C's that are currently out that will help with what they need. Because the most part you just use Kaleidoscope, but drops are always nice. But there's really no reason for me to be summoning on this at all. 
and they already got this update too. So the real th the big thing here is obviously the the uh, where is it the bunny costume, which I will gladly have gladly have that but no need to summon on this one so wow that's basically an entire month of no summoning basically it's pretty nice pretty nice here's where actually i will have to kind of summon thankfully i don't have to summon on the guda guda summoning because other than okita i have hijikata mp2 already and that i didn't want him mp2 i barely even wanted him when i got him but i have him but this girl i actually do want um himiko who is a ruler uh, and then the, also Saito Hajime is on here. Uh, funny enough, after I said that uh, I don't need more rulers, here's another ruler. <laughs> but the reason I want her is because she's actually a uh, buster support. Uh, let me see, charge on gauge. Where's her buster support? There it is. She's a, you know, she is a buster support, which I would like to have. I don't have Merlin, so I, basically my only other buster support is... Ah, uh, man. What is even? It's it's Shakespeare. <laughs> Shakespeare's my main Buster Man, and then there is uh, Nurse. Who I can't believe I'm forgetting the name of at the moment, but she has a 50% NP. Uh, not 50% NP. Nightingale. She has a 50% Buster, which I use for occasional, but whenever I want to do Buster memes or something. Oh yeah, one ally's Buster performance for three turns, 50%. Unfortunately, she doesn't have... Oh, if only she had a way to increase NP. If she actually increased NP by like 30%, she would be on par with Merlin, probably. Except for the fact that she dies super easily. But this one I actually do want to summon on, because I really I like Himiko, and then I also like the way she kind of plays. Um, so let me see. I want to have... I think my go-to number is usually three to four multis. So let's see. Assuming that... Yeah, I should have enough to do at least three multis by this time because I have some stuff that I did not fully finish by uh, the anniversary, so I have some stuff in the waiting, so I'll probably grind that out and get enough for three multis at the very least. And then considering all the login stuff and everything else, I should have enough for at least three to five multis depending on the time. I would really like to get her, so we'll see if that happens. Let me see, was there ever anything for this? I don't think we would get this, but no. Just quartz. Did we ever get? We never get anything for anniversary days except for quartz. But you know, always helps to check out Christmas rerun. I have a plenty of the grind CEs, and I don't really need a Stolfo, so I'm fine on this one. I can skip that one. Ah, oh, this one's kind of tough. This one's kind of tough. Let me see if there's anything in the pre. Ah, uh, thankfully nothing in the pre, because I already have all the units here. Funny enough, I have Yang. I have Frankenstein. A friend. Uh, I have Raiko and I have Mysterious Heroin XX. And then I have these two Raid Up Z's, which is funny to see them on Raid Up, but I have plenty of those. But the Imaginary Scramble, this one's gonna be tough, man. Because this one has Nemo and Van Gogh. I really want Van Gogh. And Nemo, even though given my misgivings on how they've been handling Nemo with his, uh, he clearly looks nothing like the Captain Nemo from the stories, for one thing. Don't even get me started on some of that stuff, because I could go on for a while, but regardless, I do still kind of like Nemo, so I could, I would want to have him, but the fact that both of these are five stars on Raid Up is really, I mean, I can't even do, like, I really hope they change it, so when they brought over Super Orion, they actually did change the banner, because originally Super Orion had a thing where the banner was him and... Uh, oh, I forget her name because I'd never see her in anything. She's the writer Zeus woman. Her name is somewhere here. I'm gonna remember it. It's Europa. There you go. Originally it was split similar to this where Europa and Orion were on the first day, but then when Orion's banner came out, Orion was the only thing on it. So I'm kind of hoping that they might do something similar here where they change it because I really don't know why it's set up like this. We've never had another banner like this, I think, where it was specifically an event where the CEs have a bonus drop to it and it's two five stars. Usually there's only one five star and then they save it for a part two. But for this one, they decided to just put both of them up front at the same time, which again, very rarely ever happens. So I kind of want both of them to be 100% real with you. I'll I'll deal with this one later, but if I man that would mean I if I would do my base which is three multis each and then 
if I stop right there, that means I would need around six multis and then combine a Himiko, that's nine multis. All right, that's the current level right there, nine. 22 million downloads campaign. Uh, this is probably one of those ones where not probably not a lot of people would be summoning for Murasaki Shikibu. I'm definitely one of the ones that would because I really like her. But if I get her four star, then I won't feel the need to necessarily get her five star. So I'm gonna have to pray to any god that will listen to me that that far that four star comes in, and I don't have to waste. At most, I'd only do a single multi, and that's it. But damn, that puts up the total to ten. Uh, 1.8. Thankfully, nothing here. Uh, damn, I forgot about this one too. Damn. Summoning campaign. No, obviously. Uh, so, I, I I don't like Doman. I don't like this pervert at all. I understand that he's extremely popular and extremely well loved. Not for me. I actively hate him. I hate looking at him. I hate anything related to the Shimosa in general, except for Musashi. So. Uh, this is an easy kind of skip for me. Suna, I also don't really have any big feelings for. But this one I actually really want, because I actually like Ibuki. I like a lot of the Rita servants, including the male ones. Um, but yeah, this is a tough one, because if I'm going to need more, I'm going to have to start my hand. That's tough. And again, if we assume the three multi, which is my basic operandi for anything, that brings up the total of 13 multis. <laughs> Uh, it's gonna be tough saving for sure. Tough savings for sure. But let's assume 13. Man. And then. Uh, Christmas. I usually like to summon on Christmas because it gives me event CEs. Vitra, I don't really have any strong feelings other than I think she really looks like Quetz. So I kind of like her for that reason. So I think I'll probably do three again. But that's only because it also helps with this to have the CE drops. Look at this. Georgios has never looked better. Some people would not even believe that this is Georgios, but it is Georgios. You would never guess it, but Georgios always looks... <laughs> yeah, this is... Yeah. The original art of Georgios never looks anything like his Z's. <laughs> his Z's always look ten times better than he does, and I think it's a continuation of the Chris... It, I think it started with the first Christmas one. See, look at him. Absolutely amazing looking here. A fucking fantastic. He always takes such good CE pictures, but then you look at his original art. He's just dumpy. Big. Obviously, I think if he came out today, he'd probably look much better. More in line with the other CEs. I don't know why they made him like this, to be 100% real with you. Ah, oh, but I always like Georgios. I'm giving him a lot of shit, but he's a very handsome man. But anyway, I kind of would like some. Funny enough, I already have NP5 Martha. I'm pretty sure, no, she must be MP4, so this would be my chance to finally get her MP5. Uh, I think he's MP3 for me, so not the greatest banner in the world, so I think I'd have to limit it to like two or three. If Honestly, if I got Vritra in one multi, I would end it right there. This call it a day. And yeah, that's basically it for the year, and then there's, um, uh, there's Muramasa there at the end, so... Pretty hard, man. That's it's very. I get a kind of good free month here. I get a good like saving of a month to see what I can do. But then once, and I actually, thankfully, once Guda Guda comes out, I'm kind of good again until another month. So at least I don't. I only have like until December. I only have really one banner to worry about a month. And then we'll see when we get to here. Man, it's tough. It's tough, and then next year is even worse, so. Hmm, I'm gonna start grinding out all the things I need to and see how much I got to work with, but I need to have basic, basically, I'm just gonna say right now, I'm probably not gonna summon on. We need to start doing some cost cutting in my head. I'm probably gonna take away the one. I need at least 12 multis, so I think I can probably scrounge up. And if I have the current two I have, assuming only one of them it goes away, I would have at least one to start with. And then we'll kind of see how it goes from there. Yeah. It's going to be a very interesting kind of month. We'll see how it goes. In theory, I shouldn't have to buy anything. Because I already have the 15... Oh, damn it. I actually can't do the second multi. I just realized that I, I have the saved up paid quartz for this year. For uh, the GSSR at the end of 
um, January. I usually buy enough so I can have it for two times and then basically not have to worry about it again. Ah, damn. That's tough. Mm. Okay, so I have one multi. <laughs> basically, I have one multi and 15 quarts to work with, actually. Damn. All right. Well, now that I've looked it through, that's kind of what my current plan is. We'll see if plans change as time goes on. But yeah, that's my thought process about it. And as far as next year goes, I'll probably make a video on that sometime. Yeah, sometime. I actually have to start thinking pretty deep here. Because if you don't know, this is the year where we get the GSSR. So, damn, yeah, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. But anyway, that's it for the video, everyone. Ah, get away. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy planning out for your future summons. And... <laughs> Good luck on your current ones. Till next time, everyone. Goodbye.